Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Samantha Polak and welcome to another episode of Samantha's Kitchen. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make Surinamese spring rolls. The difference between the Surinamese spring roll and the traditional Chinese or Vietnamese spring roll is that the Surinamese version is thicker and softer than the crispy Asian spring roll. As you see, my spring rolls are crispy because making the homemade Surinamese wrap takes a lot of time. That's why I've used the spring roll wraps which you can get in the Asian stores. Now you want to start with cutting the ingredients for the spring rolls in small pieces. These are the ingredients you're gonna need long beans, cabbage, a piece of onion, tomato, garlic, maggi cube, and bean sprouts. The only ingredient you don't see here is the chicken breast. Use a little bit oil and then we fry the onions a little bit golden brown. I add the tomato and bake this until soft and mushy. Now I add the shredded chicken breast. This is obviously cooked already and then shredded. Now that the chicken is baked for a few minutes, I add the rest of the ingredients, which are the bean sprouts, long beans, and the cabbage. Now I add the maggi cubes, white pepper, and ajinomoto. Ajinomoto is a salt and is added in the Chinese and Surinamese cuisine to enhance the taste of the dishes. You can also add tomato paste to the filling to get the red color. All you want to do now is cook the vegetables until they're done. And of course you want to taste and adjust. I slide the vegetables on one side and let it drain. And also let the filling cool before wrapping. Now wrapping time. This is the wrap I use. You can find these in the Asian stores in the frozen department. I use two wraps because the spring rolls are bigger than the typical Asian spring rolls. Use two wraps if you make bigger spring rolls and use one wrap if you make small spring rolls. These wraps are a little bit annoying to peel so take your time with this. Now place the wrap in an angle towards you. Add the filling, I will say two full tablespoons. Take one side and wrap it over the filling. Push it back so you have a tight spring roll. I roll over twice, fold the flaps together and continue wrapping. So to make sure the spring rolls stick together and don't unravel, you can use water or you can use an egg as glue. I use water. Spring rolls should look something like this. Now I'm gonna fry them in hot oil. And the spring rolls are ready to eat. We eat them with a sweet chili sauce. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next time. Salto soup is a popular dish from my home country, Suriname. Salto dishes originate from the island of Java, which is in Indonesia. The population in Suriname is characterized by its high level of diversity. We have ethnic groups such as Native Americans, Indians from India, Creoles, Chinese, Japanese. Now that you know a little bit of my country, let's start.